them what they actually condition was for what they told me in 2011 with a stop sign slow 50 what exactly that was about it's actually called a kidney failure this is called a kidney failure look at that that's one problem what are the four signs of the kidney failure changes in urination healthy kidney helps filter blood to create urine well that's exactly what my problem is uh blood finds itself now on a regular basis inside of the urine swelling in your hands legs or feet and <clears throat> swelling in my left feet could be attributed to another problem but i think it got a lot to do with it uh i think it's got a lot to do with also kidneys <clears throat> not only whatever they did to my left foot but i think it got a lot to do also with the kidneys maybe it's got more to do with the kidneys than with anything else because thrombosis for which purpose they have created the dot on the left feet in the center of the left feet is affected the most by the blood therefore again by the kidneys pain in the small of your back i don't know but i do have pain in the back yes that's correct don't know anything about itching fatigue yeah maybe a little bit all right so we're just gonna go back uh because i already have explained that a police officer stated me in 2018 2019 uh that i should that they should have given me in 2017 they should give me a dialysis in 2017 during mk ultra they gave me dialysis the last time but in 2018 2019 and 2020 during mk ultra they gave me no dialysis so i'm running on large amounts of water and exercise already for six years i managed to somehow get by but now the whole thing is really really failing me And this is the problem they have managed to develop all the way through basically kidney poisoning in 2011 already when it comes to the kidney poisoning dialysis if you like they started to they accomplished one already in 1995 maybe 1996 immediately during mk ultra they accomplished this sound this blood pressure issue but aortic aneurysm which i'm pretty damn sure was developed in 2011 was when i was taught uh, they i was pissing blood into uh well pissing blood I was urinating blood uh, with urine and they told me up to here up to here if you don't go to a doctor you're dead you're dead um, that's when you no longer will carry the stuff with you um what they would under during mk ultra in slovenia also not only in poland they loaded me with the backpacks uh they tied me with the straps around the belt and hang to their around the uh, waist uh also weights 
even this i had encounter situations uh when there was nothing they would put inside of those uh, bags i would have to carry along these hiking trails they would literally put inside weights they had sometimes dilemma what to put around my waist what to so that it would squeeze the waist and so on around the belt not only my backpack I don't have to go to details what uh, aortic aneurysm is. Um, maybe interesting part about the hypotensia. Was a fact that some people involved in MK Ultra where certain I'm not gonna suffer from the brain aneurysm, others from aortic, from the heart problems, therefore, aneurysm. Uh, this here, this This here, hypotension, this was already topic of 95 and 96, they already accomplished this stuff. And this was the stuff that was used to evaluate the food products from the local stores. They literally measure, play with the cancer, inflicting me cancer dots in the center of the left foot, thrombosis related, and the cancer dots in the left arm. Uh, also, the left side of the heart would suffer. Um, lymph nodes, cancer, game. Uh, with, by Americans, given technology they used, uh, they would take blood from me uh, I think they would take blood from me. It was based on blood, like a quick, um, like a quick test. You would like some, uh, like for diabetics or stuff like this, they do. But it was just literally used to, I don't know how to to demonstrate. I don't know what issue exactly with the cells or whatever. Uh, based on the cells, something I think they talk about the cells, the count cells, I don't know, red cells or whatever it is, that would demonstrate them exactly what, uh, what was the status of my body. Okay, so I'm going to go and take date and time. We're going to do it like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the hospital and check ourselves to see what's going on. And, uh, you know, if this is not going to work out, then we're going to proceed to another hospital because this hospital is a very, very bad hospital. This is the hospital where I was basically with the neighbors, with the police investigators, I was told, we're not going to cure you, we're not going to help you till you actually develop the most severe symptoms possible uh, that one can have. Basically, they deliberately placed my life uh, in a in a in a very dangerous situation that's what i'm referring to i was um, i got a wrong uh, in a life-threatening situation basically to to prove their point um i got a wrong camera because i would demonstrate the urine but i already video recorded that with another camera so 
it'll be okay. I'm gonna make videos about that stuff, about the urinating and stuff like this, so that you can see that you can relate yourself more to the stuff I'm talking about right now. Because this is already four months is not coming along the way it should. More and more now it became totally frequent. So obviously that the kidney is failing. And the aneurysm is getting tougher and tougher. So you find yourself on a intersection where you can only, just as Americans, British, they even make bets. They talk about the bets, what's going to fail me first. Uh, started to wonder which, is, which of the issues is going to fail. It's going to be, it's going to be the first failure that's going to, place me into a death, into coma, death, basically.